dudes are trash, bro. It's too easy, dog. What? Are you kidding me? No way! I've been camping, camping. That's all he's doing. He's camping. Uh, like... What is popping, everyone? So we are going to talk about God of War Ragnarok. We are continuing off from last episode where we meet Angra Boda and we go through some prophecies and all that type of stuff. Stay tuned. Let's go. Unfortunately, she found something else. A vision of Okay, Ragnarok. so... Word of Groh's vision reached Odin. So right here, to give a summary of what's going on with the story, uh, we were chasing Tyr in the last episode. We followed him. We ended up through a door. It brought us in this area, which continues the prophecies that Atreus keeps talking about. Um, it's for us, what we're supposed to be going by. We're basing everything off of hieroglyphics. Yeah, that's what Atreus is telling us. And these are all drawings that I guess... The ex-wife left behind, the wife that passed away left behind, presumably. But, uh, yeah. So, it continues here. You can see that this is the realm door, the, the, where we put the seat over. It goes into all the different realms. Um, this continues off on that. Um, it's letting us know about the other realms coming together for a good cause, for the great cause, for Ragnarok to deal with Odin. Um, but, yeah. And you can see it says, and Odin dies. Yeah, right, right here, I knew there were signs of, of signs. I'm not going to say much, but I'm just going to say that. See, we don't, we don't believe in prophecy if it ain't from Jesus. Can't buy no paintings on the wall. We don't believe in no prophecy if it ain't from God. We ain't with it. They try to hear all that. Yep, so right here, they were letting us know pretty much um, that there's supposed to be a champion. That's going to lead. Tyr is supposed to be that champion that's going to lead us into war. But Tyr doesn't want to have nothing to do with that. Weak. Man, these, these Dark Elves be tough, man. I haven't got a lot of y'all. Like, this one wasn't that tough, but some of the other ones are tough. Blah! 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 Right in the shoulder. Shoot! Yo, I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you, Kratos is a monster, bro. All right, this right here is solely for... <laughs> I was thinking while I was doing this, like, as a clip. I was like, I want to know who else have been through this. If you have been through this so far in this game, be honest and please tell me if you have. Because, man, trying to hit these birds? Oh, my gosh, bro. I was looking stupid. Yeah, I, I was on this for a little while, man. Look at that. I did find out that uh, the, the chains aren't good either, so... Yeah, the axe is what it is right now. That's all I can roll with. I think I finally got him. This next one, I finally get him. It, it was bad. I'm sorry, y'all. Oh, nope, the one after this. Or is it this one? It's this one. Oh, I still missed. This was so annoying. I love that they did things like this in the game. Like, there's areas that you can't go into that you know you have to come back to. I love that in games, man. I think Ninja Gaiden 1 was the first to start really doing that a lot on the 360. I love that, man. Another Dark Elf. Molly Wop this dude. I was hoping that he did a backbreaker right there. I've been so fine. Yep, we'll take that. This part was one of the reasons I was like... I think when I got to this is when I started knowing this was the game of the year. There's a giant jellyfish stuck in the ground, pretty much. It's <laughs> stuck in the ground. And I gotta free him. So this part, there's like these little mirrors in the elf world. Little cool things like this I love. The mirror reflects. So you hit this. Bing, 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 and I'm breaking the branches on him to free him. But what shocked me was what happened after. He was causing a dust storm. In this whole area. We free him. Everything's cleared up. And this dude is flying in the sky. And this Hafkara is flying through the sky. Like I was just like this is zelda S. That's why I love this game so much. That's why this game has climbed in my number one of all time. I loved everything about this game. It was perfect to me. Right here. This is just tear. You know. 
a male fit for a champion. You know, the thing I like about Terry is like, bro, you trying to talk about a male fit for a champion as if he he's trying to take his role and pass it on to uh, to Atreus. Instead of I say Atreus, the Trace. He's trying to pass his role on to Atreus. You're the god of war. Kratos is the god of war. Why are you passing it on to this little boy? You're supposed to be the leader, bro. You are tear. Come on, bro. But yeah, he's soft, man. He's real soft. This was amazing, man. So, what happened? Let me give you a quick summary. Um, Atreus and Kratos go at it a little bit. You know, the father and son argument. Atreus goes to bed, you know, just regular. He wakes up. He's in a whole nother world. He's in a... a, a, a I, I believe this place at this point in the story is Ironwood. Um, the place that was rumored and was in the prophecy. Um, so, yeah, we meet Angra Boda here. And if I'm not mistaken, Angra Boda is Loki's wife in, in, in their mythology. So, one, I love it because it was something cool. And I don't know if I'm dreaming or if this is real at this time. Two, I love the simple fact that Angra Boda's black. That, to me, was major. My boy Kratos, no, yo, time you know I did no bada You know what I'm saying? Hi, let's meet again. So we're looking at some more prophecy. Angra Boda has these um, prophecies written in her where she's staying at. She's been here for years protecting. She's like the giant protecting. It reminds me of Seven Deadly Sins where they have the giants that protect the area. It reminds me of that. You see Atreus is seeing in the image that he portrays his father or he does something to give up to his father but then goes to work with Odin because he's the imagery. You know what I'm saying? So this is this already got you. Anyone that was at this part, you would think the same thing I was thinking like, oh my God. Atreus better not be. I can say Atreus. Atreus better not be that. This is dope. Ah, <laughs> That was dope. I don't believe in no prophecies. If it ain't from Jesus, I don't believe it. If it ain't from Jesus, <laughs> fire, bro. That was so dope. But um, yeah. Then using Atreus is just super fun. Like he's such a good fighter. He's, it's dope, man. First game I really liked using the secondary character as much as the first. Next to Devil May Cry. But um, yeah. You know, I'm like, is Atreus gonna be the one? To kill Kratos, even though Kratos has killed so many people, is the trace gonna be the one to take him out? Nah. Yep. So then, right here, we get um, Angra Boda letting us know about the giants more. She's telling us, "Hey, look at these marbles. I got these marbles. They're pokeballs, and um, they have the giants' names on them. Why have the giants' names on them? Ah, well, we'll tell you why." Belong to the giants? Yep. These are the giants. The giants are inside of those. So the giants stored themselves in these orbs to protect themselves from Odin. They'd rather have dealt with that than deal with Odin, pretty much. Super dope. So these giants are in Pokeballs. Gotta catch them all, bro. Fire. I love that they did that. That was super dope to do, man. This part remind me of that movie, The Borrowers. I don't know if people remember that growing up, but little small people going through a house. We're going through Angra Boda's grandmother's crib because she's trying to kill a wolf. And, you know, we ain't about all that killing the innocent life and all that. We ain't about all that. So we go up in the crib. We go into a room. We find a snake that's dead. So Atreus right here is saying, hey, maybe we put one of these giants, these Pokeballs, inside and bring a giant back to life through the, the snake. And she's like, bro, can you just be, you know, careful? Like, you just rushed him. I just gave you these. I just made you a gym leader. You can't just run like that. Then this part right here, man. Like, we get to um, the crib. We're, we're, we're in her crib. We go downstairs. We come back upstairs. And she's here. She's about to murk this wolf. You know what I'm saying? She's about to sacrifice whatever she's doing. And we like, we ain't having that. So she's like, I go get my grandmother. Which I don't get why she, we're all giants, but she's an actual giant giant. But we're not giants. It's kind of weird. I don't really understand how that works, but. Then we break the tree. You sure? No. Yeah. This part's so good. Another, another masterful part. She's distracting the grandmother so you can get to the side, put some damage on the cauldron. I told you. At this point, I have her um, almost down to the, the end of her elf. So you guys don't have to watch the full fight. You get a hold of her cauldron. 
then then you hear her like yelling and you realize like she's not a villain per se she just has no care for like souls or care for anyone that has like a soul because it's like it's just meant to be tormented She's just like begging you, like chill. You know what I'm saying? Like, real, like, we ain't having that. Bang! Blow that thing up. Then I got to deal with anger, Boulder being heated. She's sad and depressed because her grandmother just told her, you know, I should have left you and, you know, should never taken care of you, all that type of stuff. So, yeah, it was pretty messed up. This part with fire, like, I was like, this is, this is Atreus as a wolf. I'm running through these lanes as a wolf. And she's riding a fox, and we're having a little fun race. I think that's what made me love this game so much and why this is now my favorite game of all time. The creativity was through the roof. Like the fighting, the combat, everything just got better from the last one. But this one, man, like the moments like these, amazing, amazing. Everything about this game was just phenomenal, man. This is why I love this game so much and why it's my favorite game of all time now. Look at that, seamless transition, man. So fire. We get back home. We know we've been in this little sleep world now for, what has it been, two days. So we're back home now. But you know we got to deal with daddy. You know what I'm saying? We get back, we got to deal with dad. You know what I'm saying? So I'm thinking we get to Sinji's house. Uh, let me go to Sinji's. What excuses the Trey's going to use? This is part of the betrayal. The bang! What were you thinking? I, I wanted to visit Fenrir. For two days. I, oh, do not mind me again. Than you. Then why? I was like, oh, you watch you talking to little man. You question me too much. This is what made me start thinking like, this prophecy really about to happen. Sure about Atreus is going to really end up being the person that could take down Kratos. Because I'm like, I, I don't know how, but I'm like, he's going to have to be because he's defiant. He's going against me. He's lying to me. I feel like I'm really Kratos as the real dad in my in real life. And he's, and he's lying to me. Then we get a surprise attack. I don't care about these little white walkers, these little bootleg dudes. Bang them out real quick. They nothing. Hit them with the fire whip. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They, they, they're nothing. They're weak. But then we get a surprise. We end up dealing with a Veltri. Named uh, Venatus. And this is dope right here. I'm not going to say that right here. This mm -hmm. Then I just start fighting. I'm like, go ahead, beat me up. She could have took me out right here. Every violent Psych. I, I want to know. Sometimes they should show what would happen if they did. Look at that. No, son. No Revenant episode this time. You do not want this. Son, Sit down, boy. Always know who your daddy is. Crazy. Come on, stop playing with me, boy. Like, you don't know who your daddy is. He was our friend. Yeah, I'm protecting you. Go change your mascara, man. You're playing too much. So yeah, that pretty much ends this one. Uh, that was the story of Anger Boda. Uh, dealing with her. Link of a friend. That's it. Peace. These dudes are crap. Hey, bottom of the bow. Bro, did we just lose that game? I can't believe we just lost that game. <laughs>